have a homogeneous nanocoating. I'm just into this um, health tents. So yeah, I've been doing a lot. I've done a few, and yeah, they work. But I'm trying to get the best out of it. So here we go. Okay. Okay, that's the magnetic coil. I just use 18 turns. 1 plus 8 equals 9. That's something mystic. <laughs> Same as this. And then that's your main, supposed to be the main rod. And then I got this. Okay. Yeah. That's the pretty basic preparation. You have to make your coils and then of course you have to nano coat it. I would uh, post the steel on this anyway. Now, all these components are ready to be nano coated. I will first nano coat it with heat, with fire, or torch, and then I will actually nano coat it by caustic it's gonna take like four or five days because if you do this if you assemble all these and nano coat it with fire it won't be 100% nano coated because the layers of, you know this this, this this piece will go inside here. Ah, this goes inside here. This goes inside here. And this and this emotional wrap will go around it. So if you nano coat it with fire, it won't penetrate this. So yeah. It might have a, uh, well, nano is million, so it's very thin. So, basically, the best way really is by caustic coating. So, you, yeah, I'll show, I'll show the uh, results after, but that's what it is. I made um, a paint pen with just like this. It worked, but not as good. And then I made another one single-handed like this on its own. Yeah, and then I combined both. And then, yeah, I made one like this with crystals. I, I mean, I assembled it after nano coating with crystals. I don't know if it would work better than this too. I haven't tried this one yet. <clears throat> now, just something I'm gonna add. Okay. See it's all loop back to itself. Now this thing 
this rod I cut it in lost cubit length and loop it to the hard shape which I mean this shape but the total length is the lost cubit length and yeah and I nip it in really sharp that's really sharp I didn't grind it or anything cut it with a uh, wire cutter but yeah that's with all this kishi thing I employed this cubit from cubit using cubit links using spurling slim spurlings formula so let's say right then I'll get in those cubit length and loop to side shape <clears throat> so yeah but I want to loop this too in cubits but because you're gonna do in coils 